All right, friends, you guys read the title of this video. I honestly cannot be more excited. If you've been around here for a few years, you know this is my favorite video to make probably all year. And I think it's because it's a, it for me, it officially kicks off the Halloween, fall, autumn season, whatever you wanna call it. But this kicks off the year for me. I have my tried and true pumpkin clove burning behind me on this awesome new through it candle holder. We'll get to that, but let's get into this video. I seriously have so much to share with you and explain and show you. Let's get started. I went shopping in store on Tuesday, the day after they released everything, and I was shocked by how much they had. I don't know if it was just maybe nobody went, but or maybe just they made so much this year. I, I really don't know, but there was so much to look at. I made multiple loops in the store and multiple employees talked to me because I think they thought I was lost, but I knew what I was doing. I think what is gonna steal the show this year, and I don't know why it took them so long to make this, but they made leaves in a body care line. They made the lotion. They also made um, a body spray. I only bought the lotion and the body spray and honestly I should have picked up the body wash. Um, I love using their body washes and it's kind of fun. It's a little obsessive because I have like three or four in the shower at a time and I'm like, what do I want to wear today? And it starts in the shower and it ends with the lotion and the spray. <laughs> so they did make leaves this year and I'm super excited about this. And for everybody asking, yes, it smells just like the candle. I do think once you wear it after a little while, it might start smelling a little different, but that's to be expected because it's mixing with your own like skin and it's warming to you. But everybody asked me on my Instagram stories, yes, it smells like the candle. If you like leaves, just go pick it up. Just in case you guys have seen my reel on Instagram before you watch this video, um, I did just want to insert this little disclaimer. Bath & Body Works did send me a ton, and I mean a ton of stuff like i'm shocked we'll get to that a little later but i do want to start this haul off by the things that i did purchase myself in store and i just want to be clear i'm not paid to talk about this this video is not sponsored my instagram reel was but this video is not sponsored so i don't have to be making this content i truly just want to share this with you guys because there is so much stuff this year i'm shocked and i don't think what we saw online did it justice, which I'm hearing from quite a few people. So I'm very excited to show it all to you guys and see what you guys think. And I'll give you guys my honest opinions. You guys know I don't like snakes. Well, maybe you know, but I don't like snakes. So the snake line is gonna be interesting, but let's do the first part of the haul. The next thing I grabbed was this adorable single wick candle holder. For some reason, this looks very, very familiar to me. Somebody tell me if they made this last year in a three wick and now they made it in a single wick. I don't know, the minute I saw it, I was like uh, instantly into my bag, not even gonna think about it. It is this adorable single wick candle holder. It's got pumpkins and leaves on it. It's gold. It's got the wood at the bottom. It, ugh, this is so perfect. If you know, you know, if you watched my other videos, you know that this fits everything that I'm into this year. This is $14.95. So of course I did have to pick up a few car fresheners. Um, I've been using the Bath & Body Works ones for years. I do think some last longer than others, but I keep using them. I think that ever, they all run out pretty quickly to be honest with you. So why not just use something that you like? Um, I picked up Leafs spiced pumpkin and patchouli and sweater weather those are the three fall ones that i picked i would have grabbed an apple one but they were like on sale for three for something i think three for 11 so i only got three so the next thing that we're going to talk about i'm a little sad about but they did not bring back wicked vanilla woods this year they only they only brought it back in a hand soap and a wallflower they did they don't have their full fall line out but i don't think that they're gonna do a second halloween drop because there's honestly just so much stuff this year i really can't see them doing a second halloween drop and adding this fragrance back in i know they do do a second one but 
I don't think it's new stuff. Like if memory serves right, it's not new stuff, but I was sad, but I picked up a Wicked Vanilla Wood Soap. I had to have it. I'm um, excited to at least have this. I'm not gonna complain too much, but Wicked Vanilla Wood is my absolute favorite scent. And I do still have some left from last year. The only thing I ran out of was the shower gel. So we'll be okay. Uh, this hand soap is $7.95. Okay, so I did pick up two single wick candles. I did grab one of the newly packaged ones. I really love this packaging. I wish that they would do this packaging for all the single wicks. I just feel like it looks more elevated and it fits better for the price that everything is now. But I did pick up Spiced Pumpkin and Patchouli and it's really cute packaging. I just, I just, I, I love it. This one is a new scent for me. I'm trying it, but it does have it does have okay so it says rich pumpkin warm patchouli a touch of cinnamon and a touch of cinnamon sugar i am so bad at reading the like fragrance notes on candles i will never forget my first bath and body works haul. i probably mention this every year so if you've already heard this i'm sorry but i will never forget when i was filming with my sister in the back of her house it was like in Southern California when I lived down there still and it was like 85 degrees there was no AC in that room I'm like dripping in sweat but I'm like powering through and I go to say one of the candle fragrances fragrances and I said I think I said balsamic instead of balsam or something I don't know but <laughs> just still to this day every time I mess up the fragrance notes it just cracks me up when I think about that moment all right the next candle I picked up if you know you know I mean, I feel like a lot of people already know this. If you follow me closely, you know the obsession is real with this. I know my girl Jessica understands. She's pumpkin and gray over here and she gets it. <laughs> but I picked up pumpkin and clove. I don't have a little one in this. And honestly, I get pumpkin and clove every single year. That's what's burning behind me. That's actually, I think that's from last year's and it's almost gone. It's over halfway done, but just, oh my God. I don't know this is my favorite scent like it this is just cracked to me i wish that they would put this in a body line like i don't think i would ever buy anything else if this was in a body line that's how real the obsession is with pumpkin clothes I so the only other body care product i picked up is sweater weather i don't know why but that's really hard for me to say right now um the packaging is really cute this year it's this lake i i don't know living up here in the pnw i feel like i've seen this lake before but i probably haven't to be honest with you but it's really cute packaging this year it's so cute hopefully it's picking up but i only got the body lotion in this because i already still have the body spray i think i still have the lotion but to be honest with you it's probably bad um Fun fact, if you don't know this, the numbers that are imprinted at the very, very top, like where it's sealed, the numbers that are imprinted up here tell you the expiration date. I think the shelf life for the lotions is three to four years. You'll have to Google how to translate this number and letter. I don't think they've changed it. They might have because I can't even translate this one, but just try and look if you're curious, but the expiration date is usually three to four years. So the last couple things that I picked up in store were just wallflowers and I got five of the Wicked Vanilla Woods because that scent smells so good. And I have a lot of open spaces, you know, downstairs and I feel like the wallflowers just sometimes aren't powerful enough. Excuse, excuse me. They're just not powerful enough. So I will plug in multiple in one room just to get that scent flowing. So I did pick up five of these. Okay, so that was the end of the products that I bought for myself. Now we are going to chat about what Bath & Body Works sent me. When they told me they were gonna send me some items, I really thought that it was just gonna be maybe one collection or a few items. Nobody has ever sent me as many items as Bath & Body Works did. They did not send me everything. I do not have that big $250 ceramic haunted house uh, candle luminary thing. I don't have that. I saw it in the store and it's beautiful but I cannot get behind the $250. If I bought that, like that would be, I would be done buying Halloween stuff for the season because that would, there goes my budget. But I just want to mention, like I did before in that video, these were all gifted to me. I don't have to talk about them on here. I'm not paid and I wasn't paid to do my Instagram, but I just 
want to be real with you guys. I think that being real and honest goes very far in the social media community nowadays, but without getting too deep, this was all gifted to me and I do not have to talk about it on here. Um, my Instagram reel and if you follow me on TikTok, those were sponsored, but I was not paid to talk about any of this. Um, I hope you're still sticking around. So I do want to give you guys my honest opinion. I wish I could give you my first reaction, but they were filmed in vertical form for my Instagram reel. I might throw some in, so I hope you don't mind the black bars on the side, but I think some of it's pretty funny because I was struggling to open some of it and it was really warm, but <coughs> I might share some of it with you guys, but let's get started because we definitely have a lot to talk about. I don't know if the camera will pick up the size of this box right now, but like it's massive. Like I can't. And they sent three of these and they all came inside a bigger box, bigger box, which I'll show you guys because the windows on it remind me of Salem. And I posted a screenshot of that on my Instagram, but nobody really guessed what it was, but it's okay. Um, I'll show you guys that I really, I wish that they would have leaned a little more into that. Like they don't really have a witchy line this year, which I feel like a lot of us, that's what we're into. They did have this one candle holder, which I'll show you guys, but they don't really have a witchy line. Okay, enough for me rambling. Let's get into this. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this as best and quickly and efficiently as possible because like I said, there's a lot of stuff. They did send me the whole line of Vampire Blood. We have the lotion, the body spray, and the body wash. These, you know, I never really looked into Vampire Blood. For some reason, I always thought that it was just too sweet and I've never given it any chance, but it's the only one that they bring back every single year. Like that doesn't smell bad. I don't even what I don't even know what's in this. Red berries, night blooming jasmine, and purified pure I can't talk. Petrified plum. Petrifying plum. Like I said, I'm really bad at this. I don't know why I try to read these on camera. I'm really bad at reading these. This I think smells pretty good. I haven't used it yet. I might put some of this in a giveaway in October. I don't know. Stay tuned. Giveaways are kind of really hard to do now and you just get so much spam from fake accounts. They're almost not worth it, but I might do a giveaway if I end up not using this. I used the other two things, so probably not, but stay tuned. Okay, so the next thing that they made in this line is this rose, it's a three wick candle holder. And when I first saw it, I thought that it would be hard to put the candle on here because it's just so textured, but it's really cute, honestly. I just never would have thought to pick this up. And when I saw it online, I thought that it just kind of looked plasticky, which it definitely looks better in person. And I like that it has the black petals I don't personally decorate with red, but I might actually put this in one of the bathrooms. We'll see. But it actually holds the single wick candle pretty well. Obviously, you're not going to be moving it around when you are when you have something on it, but it sits pretty level. Like, it's not going to mess up the burn of your candle if that's what you were worried about. The three wick vampire blood candle is $15.95 and the holder is $19.95. So this little soap guy was something that I definitely wanted. I originally thought it was a holder so you could put the original soaps in them, but it's not. It's just a pump one and the soap's already in here. So when this runs out, you will have to refill it. But I think they started doing refills for the soap. So maybe that's what they had in mind. But this guy is adorable and he matches the three wick behind me, which I'll show you guys when we get to that line but he also matches what I hold all my makeup brushes in. So I was very excited about this. This little guy is $12.95 and it's already filled with vampire blood soap. Up next, we have this vampire blood soap holder. It does make noise and this is silicone, but for it to make noise, I feel like you gotta push the soap pretty hard and I don't think anything Anybody pushes the soap down that hard, but I'll show you guys. 
Maybe, if I can get it to work. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? It did take me a while to figure out how to get the soap in there, but I don't know if anybody is gonna push the soap hard enough for that to, you know, happen. But the skeleton hand, he doesn't have a price on him, I'm sorry, but there's no price on it. And then the soap is $7.95. Of course, they made the Vampire Blood Wallflower, which is $7.95. Everything's $95 now, it's really weird. And then they also made the Vampire Blood 3 Wick Candle Holder, and it's got a cute lid on it. It's just the metal one, though. Um, this lip gloss, which I haven't opened, so I don't know if it's colored or sheer, sorry, but this is $9.95. And then they also made a room spray, which I am very excited to try out. I like keeping these around. Um, sometimes I'll spray them in my car, but if you do that, make sure your windows are down. Otherwise, when you get in, it's going to be so overpowering. You need to give it some ventilation. Okay, so another thing I've never tried from Bath & Body Works were their bath bombs, but they did make a Vampire Blood bath bomb, which I'm excited to use. It looks like it's going to be probably, obviously, black and red, or probably just a deep, deep, deep black, or maybe even red. I really don't know, but I've never tried their bath bombs, so I'm excited for this one. The bath bomb is $9.95. They also made shimmer fizz body lotion i've never tried any of the shimmer fizz body lotions i personally for a little bit thought that this was a little too childish for me to use like i can't just go walking around looking like edward but i actually wore one of the lines today and it made me pretty happy to see the glitter on my arm so i don't care if i'm 32 and i sparkle like edward it's a thing <laughs> This is $17.95. All right, the last three things that they sent over in this line was the Vampire Blood Soap for $7.95, the Car Fragrance Refill for $4.95, and they also sent over this pocket back holder with Vampire Blood already installed. It does light up. Let me see if I can show you guys. And I think it makes noise. That's pretty cool. Um, I am it for the Vampire Blood line. I feel like they sent me every single piece of Vampire Blood that they created this year. I am so grateful. Um, it honestly is introducing it to me because I've always skipped over it and I don't know why. Obviously, it's popular enough for them to bring it back every year, but that is the end of that line. Let's move on to the next one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to show you my first reaction to this wall plug because it is my favorite. This is the one thing that I wanted this year. And when I went to Bath and Body Works, mine was already sold out. And this happens to me every single year. Okay, but so I'm digging into the next box and I know exactly what this is. And I am so excited. I've never been able to get my hands on the haunted house or spooky house, the wallflowers. They're always, always sold out. I am so excited. But this haunted house wall plug-in is a adorable this year okay i feel like adorable is not the right word for it it is awesome this year it is perfect uh it does light up in certain ways and it does project this is actually my first projector i have a few that light up but i don't have any that project so i was super excited to get this i don't know the price of it because i've already taken the tag off and used it but i took it down for the video i know all what they look like when they're lit up and what they project i'll put it on the screen next to me while i'm talking about these this one, like Jade the Libra mentioned, um, is pretty heavy. So if you have an older plug, this might tip out of it and might not work as great. Or you might have to put it in the bottom one. I don't know. But I this Everlasting Magic line, the packaging, I feel like took place of what Wicked Vanilla Woods was last year. Because I think it was, I don't know, that was the year before. It was spiders and then it was bats. But this I cannot put my hand on. Like, I can't nail down what it smells like. Like, it smells good to me. I love it, and I've already used it, but I can't figure out what this line smells like to me. If you guys have tried this, let me know down in the comments below because it seems familiar, but I don't really know what it is. So, this I was super excited to get. You know, 
I just realized, okay, I realized what it was with this year's collection. I don't decorate in purples, greens, blues. I don't decorate for Halloween in that. For me, it's traditional colors. It's off-white for ghosts, orange for pumpkins. There might be like touches of other colors, but I don't even use red. So I think that's why this line where I initially saw it online, I was just like, it's not for me. Like there's nothing that I like have to have. But to be fair, I was also flying out to California with a very busy weekend that morning and I did not sleep. I was looking at that online at 3 a.m. my time. I don't know, <laughs> but this stood out to me a lot. And I can even change out the stones if I don't like that it's purple, but it is a three wick candle holder and it does have spiders on it and some diamonds and rhinestones to make up the web. This little candle holder is $16.95. I feel like this is a decently priced one. All of the three wick candle holders are around like $16 to $20 and they only get higher the more elaborate they are. So they did create everlasting magic in a three wick candle. The packaging is really cute. It's just got the crown on the top, it looks like, and then it also on the top, it looks like a crown as well. And it's this <clears throat> maroony mauve color. Oh, I didn't even open it. It's even maroon on the inside. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, that's still, okay, I'm gonna stop because it smells like something and it's making me mad that I can't figure out what it is. This lid is pretty hefty too, but if you don't wanna buy a three wick candle holder, you could always do this with your candles. And I feel like this looks pretty cute. And you could probably even display it like this when it's done and just reuse the jar for something. Or you could even turn it around so you don't see the label. I don't know. I thought that's pretty cute. I Okay, so I do wanna share with you guys more. <coughs> I cannot talk today. <laughs> I actually probably should go get my water. Um, I do want to share more wall plugins with you guys. I shared on my stories that I think the only stuff that I'd pick up this year were wall plugins, and they were really cute this year. I feel like there's no normal ones. I think they all either light up, project, or they do something. There's no just like ones that don't light up. There might be some, but I don't think I have any. <laughs> This one is really cute. It does have a skeleton on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see it, but or see it when it's not lit up, but I can see it in person if you hold it the right way. That is pretty cool. He does kind of have some creepy eyes though. Again, we have another wallflower here, and I think this is my favorite line. This carriage line, I'm telling myself that these are spooky carriages back in Salem and we just got some cool skeleton and friends hanging out in them. <laughs> but this little carriage is so cute and he projects something too. And I believe it projects off the sides too. Yeah, it projects off the top and then two things on the side. This guy I thought was really cool. Okay, but so I'm trying my best to keep these in certain lines, but it's kind of hard. So I'm sorry if it's a little mixed up, but <laughs> uh, we have another three wick candle holder here. This one has skulls, it has bats and pumpkins on it. It even has a little raven on it. This one matches the three wick candle, the three, the single wick candle holder that I bought on Tuesday. So I was really excited to see this in there. And this is $14.95. Now, the way that pumpkin carving looked this year, I thought I wouldn't like it. But now that I understand the vision that they were going for and I see the stained glass windows on the packaging of all these boxes, I get it. They were going for a very stained glass gothic vibe. So now I understand the packaging of this, but I still like this one because it's mostly black and it's orange. But this is the pumpkin carving candle this year. I like this one. Okay, so we have a few more everlasting magic line items. We have the Diamond Shimmer Mist and Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion. This is what I used that made me look like Edward and I was okay with it. Um, I also paired in this box the Ghoul Friend Diamond Shimmer Mist. I feel like they, did they make Ghoul Friend this year? I think they did, I think they did. They always make Ghoul Friend and Vampire Blood. Those are the two that always return, but they only sent me this. And again, I've never, I've never tried Ghoul Friend. I don't know, I feel like I, 
Ooh, that's really sweet. That is really sweet. I feel like I tend to go towards the fall body care, but the Halloween decor, if that makes sense. This is really sweet. I might put this in a giveaway because I don't think I will ever wear this. We also have a pumpkin carving wallflower and a single wick of the pumpkin carving as well. This label reminds me of like Salem Apothecary. That's the vibe that it's giving me and I'm okay with that. <laughs> they create a pretty cool, I will say, a pretty cool vent clip with the snake on it. It's cute, um, and the new ones can be either visor clips or vent clips, and I feel like that's perfect because sometimes you would want one and then it wasn't in the version that you wanted. So I think that's really cool that they did that finally. This is $11.95. So they also made a snake and rose soap holder, and I'm going to put the girlfriend snow snope? soap in it. I swear the longer this video goes on, I'm sorry, but my words are just gonna blur together because this is a lot of talking and I've already filmed somewhat of these videos like three or four times, so I'm sorry. But they did create a soap holder with a snake on it and some roses. It's cute, don't mind this little broken piece. It broke off in shipping, but does this snake not look real to you? I don't know, it kind of freaks me out. <laughs> But all I can say is I can just change up my, I could probably have a different soap holder in every single bathroom now. So I'm very appreciative for that. But this snake kind of freaks me out. He <laughs> looks real. The soap holder is $19.95. Another thing that they made this year that I thought was pretty damn cool for Bath & Body Works to make because I haven't seen them make something like this before, but they made a body mist holder that is a snake. And this is the snake one of two snakes, one of three snakes that I think looks really real because that little one on that soap holder, look, holder looked real. But this snake holder is $24.95 and it does hold your fragrance mist in it. This is pretty cool if you like leaving these out on like maybe your dresser or something, this could be a cute addition. But I thought that you could also maybe even put uh, makeup brushes in this instead of the fine mist holder, like you could put makeup brushes in that. That could be really cool too if you like to display those. So the last snake that I think looks real is on the Midnight Spell 3 Wick Candle and that's the perfect transition into that line but this snake also looks very real to me and it freaks me out. <laughs> but this is the Midnight Spell Candle. It smells this this smells really good. There's definitely something in it that's very familiar. I feel like a part of it maybe smells like the Wicked Vanilla Woods, but it is black on the inside, so that's pretty awesome too. And this lid is pretty heavy. This candle, because of the lid, is $36.95. This line would not be complete without a three wick candle holder. They did create one that I really like because there's no color on it besides gold and black, which I am starting to incorporate into my decor. I feel like this is a great piece in between fall and I almost said fall and Christmas, but fall and Halloween if you decipher the two because there's no color on it besides gold. It's pretty cute. It does have this tree on it with the snake and some flowers. I like it and it's pretty sturdy and I like that most of it is black. This three wick candle holder is $29.95. We are on to the last box. If you are still around, you are amazing. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. This three wick candle holder, I gotta turn it on. It is one of, in my opinion, one of the more witchier things that they did this year. Maybe kind of the only wishy thing that they did this year. This, I feel like, ties into the lines that they did a couple years ago with the hands. I was obsessed with that hand. I did get one. I wish I got another one because I use them as bookends. But this is the three wick candle holder that they, that they created. And it does swirl around and it does change colors. I will say, um, the hands, this, this whole thing is plastic. The whole thing is plastic. There's no ceramic or glass on this. I don't know if that's for safety reasons because of this, but it is all plastic. 
This three wick candle holder is $69.95. So the top of this candle reminds me of an Oreo and I feel like you guys will get it. I think they do make something like this in the Halloween Oreos. <laughs> but it reminds me of an Oreo and I'm okay with it. This is the Moonlit Graveyard three-wick candle. The packaging on this one is really neat. It leans into the stained glass vibe that they're going with and it's got that spooky carriage that I'm manifesting is running around in Salem. <laughs> this smells Again, it's got something similar in it and it is just white on the inside. This one is $16.95 and when you plug it in, you guys could probably see, but the skull shows up on the inside when you plug it in and they did make a three wick candle holder that matches this and I remember that because it was on my list of things that if it's still there when I see it, then it's meant to be. They did not have any when I went, so I did not get the three wick candle holder that matches this. But it's okay it's not the end of the world <laughs> but this one i'm really excited to plug in like i said because i want to put it in my bedroom the next plug-in i'm going to share with you guys i have three more is this one it is the goblet and this one is 32.95 this does light up and it projects green ghosts up on the wall that's pretty cool i don't know where i'm going to use this one yet this plug-in matches what I loved about the past two collections from the past two years. It is the Headless Horseman wall plug-in. It is $32.95 and it does light up. It projects a pumpkin up onto the wall. I thought that that's pretty cool and it's fitting because it's like the head of, you know, the horseman. And I do like that it does have the velvet on it. It separates itself from all the other ones that are more um, stained window plasticky iridescent that they tried doing. This one I really like. I'll probably leave this one in the living room or whatever room I do that like witchy kind of feel with. The last plugin that I have to share with you guys matches the skeleton behind me. This one is $19.95 and it does light up but it does not project anything. They did send me two more vent clips. We have the spiderweb one and we also have this skull with a crown on it to match that line. And this one is purple on the other side. They also made Moonlit Graveyard in a single wick candle and it's just got birds and um, birds, trees and moons and stuff on it. I'm running out of steam guys this is a lot of stuff but i'm so excited to share it with you i'm just run a little low on energy i should probably go get something to eat but we'll do that in a minute they also made ghoul friend in a single wick candle and this one has that salem apothecary that i'm manifesting that's the label that they put on this one i've never smelled this before my first time I like it, but it's very sweet. I thought that it could have been just that one product that I smelled, but this is very, very sweet. I'm very interested to see what the burn scent smells like, but this is very, very sweet. I normally don't do sweet scents or the baked good scents. So I believe this is the new one this year, um, Midnight Spell. And I love the packaging on this one. This is probably my favorite packaging. It's black and gray and it's got spider webs on it and it's giving the Salem Apothecary vibes again. I don't know, I feel like that's the labeling of this. This one is new and I think this one is probably my favorite out of all of the ones that they have out right now. I think this one is my favorite. There's a little something in it that smells a little masculine for me, so I'm a little unsure. I'll read this one though. It says Mystic Air. I don't know what that is moonlit woods and crystal amber so i feel like that's kind of similar to i just blanked on the name <laughs> wicked vanilla woods but there's no vanilla in it so maybe that's why i think it's a little more masculine but i still like it i did wear this one i just there's something i don't know it takes me a while to get used to new scents so there's something in this but they made it in a body lotion a shower gel I'm gonna call this the Edward Diamond Shimmer Spray. <laughs> 
and they also put it in the Shimmer Fizz body lotion. I think it's time that I share this with you guys. This is by far my favorite thing from the what they sent me. This is my favorite of the collection. And I'm honestly very grateful that they sent this to me because my store did not have this. It was already gone. <coughs> and like I mentioned before, this matches what I put my makeup brushes in. It's essentially this, it's just open on the top and it's tilted and it's a little smaller, but it's fine because it sits on my vanity. But I was so excited when I saw this and the crown doesn't bother me because I think they made the crown look good. It does not look cheap to me. It is a very thin metal. I did have to bend back one of these from shipping, but it's to be expected. But this three wick candle holder, if it's the only thing that you pick up, let it be this. If you only grab one thing, let it be this. Um, I'm not sure if you guys saw, but they're like, I mean, the detail that's in this skull, it's got a pumpkin skull, it's got flowers, it's got this big web in the back, like just the detailing in itself. I'm obsessed with this. This is $34.95 and I think it's very justifiable. Okay, friends, we have made it to the last few items. If you guys have stuck around this long, you guys are troopers and I truly appreciate you guys. If you guys are still here, drop a pumpkin emoji below and you just know that I appreciate you guys so much. This is, I do all this for fun. I'm not gonna go on a rant, but I do all this for fun. And when I get to interact with you guys, it's just, it's the best thing. Cause I feel like I have friends everywhere and i love doing this i love creating youtube videos and doing social media i've found so many friends through it too honestly some really good friends i don't know why so. i started to get like on a rant and emotional but i just want to say thank you to you guys but let's do these last few items they did send over this reusable bag and it says it glows in the dark i did not see that until now but it's cute and it's leaning into that stained glass vibe that they were going for this year and it is just full of all of the soaps they did moonlit graveyard wicked vanilla woods happy to have another one of these perfect pumpkin which is kind of funny because there's no pumpkin on it they chose to do a cat that's okay um spell spell binding sweets I have not smelled that one, so we might have to smell that one. This green color is actually pretty fun. And then the last soap that's in here is just Moonlight Graveyard, and it is the, I think they, this is the gel one. I wanted to share this exterior box with you guys because this is what I first saw. And when I saw this, I got so excited. Does this not scream Salem to you? That's all I see in this. And then this side... Again, stained glass windows. It just reminds me of Salem. I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree. All right, guys. I don't know how I made it through this whole video, but I did not get up and go get a drink when I should have. But now I did, and it's Friday, so we're drinking in Truly. If it's drinking hour when you're watching this, cheers. And yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just felt silly doing that. Anyways, um, I just want to say thank you again to all of you. You guys are amazing. You guys are the reason why I do this. And a huge, huge thank you to Bath & Body Works for sending me so much of this year's Halloween. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a huge Bath & Body Works fan and I have been for years. So being able to work with them this year on an Instagram um, reel was just, it, it made my year. Like they are one of my bucket list brands. I love Bath & Body Works and I cannot believe that I got to work with them this year. I don't know if this is the first year that they've worked with influencers. I can't remember if I've seen them work with anybody else, but besides this year, I just, I don't know. Thank you to you guys. Thank you to them. Let me know if you guys picked up any of these products down below or if you have any questions or need to see anything further, just let me know. I'll... I'll give you what you need and <laughs> just let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps a lot, you guys. But I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.